Buddy Z1 here, ready for another Java tutorial. Today we're going to be focusing on creating custom exceptions in Java. As I have just said, Java tutorial. Um, we're going to need two classes for this. You can either choose to include them in one class or make them separate. So let's get started. The first class we can name whatever we want. Uh, it has to have the main method. Okay, and then it's going to say new, then the name of our class. Okay, and then create a constructor. Okay. Then... This is where the second class comes into play. Okay, mce dot print stack trace. Okay, so uh, that's all we need to do to throw this exception. Now to actually create it. Okay, we're going to need to make it extends exception. Then in Include the default serial user ID or generated. Okay, so we're going to need to create a constructor, my custom exception. Okay, and it's going to take string class name, string method name, string file name, int line number string message okay and then we're going to create some private variables private to string class name private string method name private string file name private string private int line number private string message okay so basically creating all of these variables with private modifiers okay so this dot name equals class name and then we're going to do the same thing with the others so i'll be right back okay guys i am back i have the rest of this stuff all done Okay, so we're going to do this, and then this, okay, so in the get message, where you want to it to return message okay and then you want to create a new variable stack trace element sde1 equals new stack trace element class name, method name, file name, line number, okay, so now you can have as many of these as you want. This is just a basic exception, but uh, you can get the gist, I'm sure. 
So to do this properly, we need to create a stack trace element array equals STE1. Super dot set stack trace STES. Okay, so now if we go over here. Constructor main dot Java line number twelve. The program has thrown a custom exception. Now this message can say anything you want, but when you run it, this program it creates an error, but it does exactly what we want. My custom exception, which is the uh, class name, or the uh, you know the the exception type for the class, and then the message, and then the class name, method name file name and line number okay and when we click it actually brings us to that specific line so there we go goodbye everybody and I'll see you next time